you touched on it there. Obviously, you knew he didn't fall in the last round. Your game was still to come. What, what was going through your mind at that stage? Probably about six seconds to uh, consider it. I thought I was very unlikely to pull in the last game, but uh, like, it wasn't really stressed, to be honest. Um, a few people jumped on me pretty quickly, so it was just yeah, an amazing feeling. Obviously, a lot has been made about the length of time since a Ruckman had won the award. Did you feel any pressure going in, and, and does it carry extra significance? Um, I was pretty relaxed throughout the day. I had uni and uh, just was going expecting will, will to win so whatever happened happened and it was out of my control but um i guess as a ruckman it's it's kind of pleasing to see in a way that um my and our role is recognized but i guess all those statistics and things like that are probably in, in, my, in terms of my thinking i don't really consider it too much my team's teammates did a fantastic job. I was, they made me feel really special. Like I had a fair few media commitments straight away, but they stuck around and just to see the joy in their face for me um, definitely made me feel really special. And I know it's, it's probably not a few drinks or a, or a long night for us, but um, it's definitely saying I look on very fond memories and what to do with how they made me feel. When you came over in 2021, did you kind of have designs on becoming, you know, the very this probably not something that's thought of that specifically, but did you want to, you came to the Seattle mission, obviously, the state and the service space? Um, so, my story's a little bit different to a lot of kind of recruits. Um, Nick Roker passed my name, my name on to uh, Mark Ross at the time and just said I was a, a big fella that could compete. Um, my main contract negotiations originally were just hopefully I could get a contract before coming over and not having a trial for one. Uh, I was fortunate enough that happened, so I came over and uh, I think we had Michael Noel, Paul Pioppolo, um, Jacob Kennelly all off AFL lists and uh, old Harry Boyd from, uh, from Shepherd, and so I was definitely not considered a big recruit and my main goal was to hopefully just play um, yeah, consistent senior footy, which was the main thing. Have designs on similar question Gordon, the Gordon, but do you have designs on playing AFL and you've spoken to the agents about the clubs? Where does that kind of sense go? Last phone call I had from the AFL club I would have been about eight years ago, so uh, definitely it's not at the forefront of my mind and I'm very fortunate. I'm studying physiotherapy and that's where my kind of future lies and regardless of whatever happened at the next level. Um, that's only a very short period anyway, so my main focus is definitely on university and I've loved my time at Norwood and that's where I see myself in the future. Is that something you'd be open to doing? Um, again, not trying to take away from the achievement right now, but if the club came to is it something you'd be into or are you kind of not really focused on that? If you'd mind saying I wouldn't answer the call, but I, I'd have to consider my lifestyle and things like that. Like, um, when you do get, I'm 26 now, so you get to the latter part of your career and you realise that um, you want to make the most of your footy time and the most enjoyable time, I'd have to consider what that would look like. And just in respect to that, you sort of study of physio, are you enjoying uh, that and your career part of the and get away from footy? Yeah, I really enjoy it. I just had my first three weeks of placement. I was at placement from 9 to 12.30 this morning um, and a lot of the patients have no idea what happened last night. So. Um, yeah, I guess that's I guess what I enjoy and what I'm really passionate about. I've had an interesting road through university at times, and uh, but once I started this physiotherapy career, I haven't looked back, and you know, I've loved it. So yeah. Look forward to playing in a grand final in a couple weeks. Yeah, can't wait. It's it's very uh, quick how it's happened, I guess. Uh, I got asked a question last night. How does it feel compared to 2022? 20, and uh, we played three gut-wrenching finals to get into. Uh, into the, the grand final that year and, and finally made it. I guess it's a little bit different. So to it's kind of over the next few days to really kind of relax, get over this, and um, yeah, extremely excited and keen, and um, yeah, team success is what we play for. Your family as well. How did they react? I mean, I know we saw the pictures last night, but how have they been? Yeah, they they were uh, just super excited for me. So mum and dad came over for the game on the weekend from Shepparton and. Uh, they drove home. No, sorry, flew home on uh, on 
yesterday morning, and uh, yeah, they watched it, watched it on the from now last night, and just yeah, pure excitement, and to have a partner out there, Alessia, and her family supporting me is uh, it's amazing as well. Harry, um, had such a good year, but being like, were you worried that the boat wouldn't come from the Gary Martin? It's not something you can control, to be honest, Josh. Uh, like, yeah, it's just not something you can control. And you can't uh, worry about things you can't control. So, whatever happens, happens. And honestly, going into the night to to think that people thought that I could win was enough in itself to go that I've had a pretty decent year and it was definitely humbling. You and Selling were the clear standout favourites. Was it fitting that you both won? Oh, look, it was an honour to be up alongside him. He's a fantastic, fantastic player, and uh, what he's done post his AFL career, and it's obviously had challenges in that um, to kind of uh, come back to central level and dominate. And it's not that easy. Like, there's a lot of AFL players that come back and, and do find it hard. So, for him to do that and also have his own personal challenges. At the same time, is it a credit to him? And yeah, it was an honour to stand alongside him. And how about Nick Brokaw? You could make winning the sand over on the same night. Yeah, I was I was so happy for him. Um, I've uh, been fortunate enough to be at the at the event the last uh, couple of years, and to see him come runner up is, is hard. Um, and I could have yeah at stages throughout the night thought that I was gonna gonna be in that position too, but we're. Leaving the, leaving the venue and, and driving there and there's a few of us boys in the car together and we uh, chucked on the telecast and he was making his victory speech at the, at the time and we just all yeah, just, just cheered, it was just uh, an amazing moment as well. Have you guys had the opportunity to have a conversation yet? Yeah, we had a quick one uh, last night and it was just kind of, uh, yeah, it was <laughs> pretty speechless for both of us. Um, couldn't believe how the, the night panned out. Like, um, yeah, for us both to be in the same situation, both both in the same country town, to both played uh, played junior and, and senior football together at uh, Shep Footy Club. To look back on that now, it's it's pretty special and sure it's something that the, the town um, will be proud of. Thanks. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you.